everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Helly and I make fashion and lifestyle videos on YouTube. So if you like the look of this one, please subscribe. It means the world to me and check out my Instagram here as well. I also appreciate any comments or likes. I've been getting a few new comments over the past week and like it, it just makes my heart so full and it's so nice to see that people are like really liking what I'm creating and resonating with it. So today I've got another haul because that video did so well and those people loved it. So I'm sticking on the fashion theme. I've been gone for a while, a lot's changed. Well, not changed, but like I had to do my dissertation. So I handed that in. Um, I started a ring business. These are my little rings. So I've been very busy doing that and just sending out orders. Um, I'll link information to do that in the description below. Um, but yeah, I've been a very busy girl and I've really neglected YouTube, which I feel really bad for because it was my New Year's resolution to get this up and running, but I'm back. So yes, as I said, I've got a haul today and I've chosen items which have all been like hyped up by influencers or Instagram girls or like TikTok. I've seen so many of these items on my Pinterest and stuff like that. So I bought them, I'm gonna try them on for you, tell you what I think is worth the money, what I don't think is worth the money. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna start with this top that I'm wearing because this is such a shameless self promo, but I made this and I will be selling this one and different colors on my Depop. So go have a look on there if you like the look of this. I've seen Love Evie wear this, I've seen Olivia Grace Herring both of which I absolutely love. I actually met those girls. I met um, Olivia, Evie and Hope in Paris. I was with my boyfriend and we were just like by the Arc de Triomphe. And um, we were following round, not following, that sounds really creepy, but like we were looking at what other people were taking uh, for like photos for inspiration. So we would like look and see if there was any girl like dressed up really nicely because we were like oh she's definitely posted on instagram they know where the best shots are um and so we would like watch them then we would go take the same photo we have no imagination and we were at the art troop and i saw these three girls and they like looked really fashionable and, they took, and then i got a bit closer because my eyesight is awful and i was like oh my god that is love evie live with grace herring and hope and i was like oh my gosh so ran over my boyfriend thought it was like friends I need from school or something so he just like waited behind because he didn't want to um, chat to everyone and yeah I was just like oh my god and then they spoke about me in their vlog so famous um yeah so that was in their Paris vlog I think I'm not sure but very exciting anyways I am jabbering on because I haven't spoken to the camera in so long that it's like I just keep going so also, please forgive my parents, the hairdressers open next week. I will be doing a glow up video because I am definitely in need. I also don't have any nails on because I'm just giving them a break. So yeah, the roots, the hair, I'm sorry. It will be fixed soon. Anyways, let's get into the clothes. So the first two items are from the same brand and I have ordered another pair of trousers from this brand, but they're coming tomorrow because it's Easter bank holiday weekend. So everything's like delayed a little bit. They're from Paloma Wool and they are these gorgeous checkerboard trousers. They just look like this. They're like that like warped psychedelic kind of print that's really popular right now. So I've got them in the blue and aubergine and then also the cream and aubergine, but it's basically brown. Uh, it's just a fancy red for brown, I'm guessing. But I bought these ones first because I saw them come back into stock and they've been sold out for ages. So I just sort of impulse bought them. And then maybe two days later, these ones, which were the ones I actually wanted, uh, came back into stock. So I obviously bought these. Um, but I will be selling the blue ones on my Depop or I will be sending them back because I don't need both pairs. But just for the fun of the video, I will show both of these in the trial clip. Blue version of these trousers is so much tighter, but they're the same size. I really don't understand. But like, yes, they are a yes. I am too poor to keep both of these colors, but the blue fits better than the brown. So maybe I'll wash the brown and see if I can like, like fit them to my body or whatever, but oh my God, come on. These are cute. One like and I will keep them, please. Someone give me that one like and I will keep them. They're like a hundred quid though. Ooh. 
No, I can't keep them, but they're very nice. They'll make someone else very happy. Do we like? I like them. So these are a small, it's the smallest size that they do in these bottoms and I thought they would be smaller. The blue ones seem a bit tighter, but maybe they will like shrink in the wash, which would be good for me. But I think they're really cute. Um, they make your butt look nice. And yeah, I like the like looseness. I like the looseness on the ankle, tightness on the waist and the brown is the color of the year. So it's a winner. Next up, another really exciting set, which has been absolutely hyped up on Instagram. I see it everywhere. Like Olivia Neal's worn it, Millie Hanna, so many people. So it's the House of Sunny psychedelic, God, I don't know if it is from one Rider Swan, but it's like their psychedelic two piece. We've got the trousers, which are like flared. And then the halter top, which is, it's like this. I'll show you the charm clip. I have worn this to death already and I only got it about a week and a half ago. But yeah, it's perfect because you can wear the trousers on their own just with like a white t-shirt, but you can wear the top with jeans. Oh my God, but the set together, gorgeous. I've taken a picture of this on my Instagram, which I'll put here. And it's just really cute. It's just perfect. This is my June 21st outfit. How cute, how cute is this? Literally, I'm in love. I'm holding it at the side because it takes about 10,000 years to do up all the little buttons. Uh, I've got short fingernails, so it'd probably be easier, but I'm lazy, so we're not going to talk about it. Um, but yes, very cute. Hold the top and then bottom. Whoop. Perfect fit. Can you see that? Like, they kind of like this is like the worst try on clip of these ever, but just go on Instagram and you'll see everyone wearing them. But yeah, I. I'm a big fan. So Jaded London are really well known for this tracksuit, I think. It's very YTK, it's very cute. And I've always wanted to buy it, but I've always been like, oh, I don't know if the colors are really me. I don't know if I like them that much. But they came with a pink version. And you know how I feel about pink. I just had to buy it. So it is the like, I don't know what it's actually called. I will link it down below, which I need to get better at because I keep forgetting. But it's the pink joggers they're like a low rise below and then the top oh i think it's called remix or it's from the remix collection it's inside out because i tried it on uh but yeah as you can see it says like jaded london on the front got a little beige collar i just think it's really cute i'll have to see how i can style it um but i think the dusty dusty rose color is actually really nice because i don't have anything like this and i do not need any more velour tracksuits because i have about a million juicy couture tracksuits but this one it's different and it's really cute and it's calling my name so i might have to keep that this is what it looks like on very cute it's very soft um yeah the top fits really nicely i like how it like ends here just below my belly button and the trousers oh my god like look at that i feel like i saw them they give me i mean they don't give me much of a bum but they give me a bit of a bum i kind of i feel like um feel like regina george's mum in mean girls but i really like this this is bad because i was Maybe gonna send this back because I was like, I don't need it. But now I really like it and I wanna keep it. So yeah, let me know, should I keep this? The next thing that I've got to show you is from Peachy Den, which is a small business that all handmade clothing in the UK. But they restocked the June jumpsuit, which I wanted for so long. And I really wanted the one with like the white collar instead of all navy blue, because I think it just looks like, okay, this is really dumb, but I think it just looks more French or like it looks more, I don't know, it just looks different, but I love it. It's got, well, you see the try and clip how it fits, but it just fits perfectly. The clothing just make me feel so like confident and like even if I'm having a bit of like a bloated day, I just feel really like cute and like snatched in this material. I don't know what they put in their clothing, but it's just like the most amazing fabric ever. It just hugs in all the right places and like, ooh. You'll see the trial clip how it fits, but I cannot rave enough about this. Please excuse my VPL, I'm on my period and I'm wearing granny pants. So just, I don't want to hear it, but it's like this. It's very cute. 
couple of that fits the waist really nicely. I'm a bit bloated. I just had lunch, but next up I've got a cheaper item because I know the stuff that I've just shown you was a little bit more pricey. A lot of like Instagram brands tend to be a bit more expensive because they're smaller businesses or they're handmade or they're ethically sourced, which is really, really great. Um, but yeah, I will show you a less expensive item. And it's this hat and bag duo from ASOS. I saw Love Evie wear this. I think I saw Olivia by Nature, I'm not sure. Um, lots of Instagram girls were wearing this set from ASOS and I, I think it's so cute. So it's called a fisherman's hat, which is like a big bucket hat. And I think these are gonna be really big this summer. I've seen a brand called Lack of Color um, all over Pinterest that do this style of hat, but theirs are like a hundred dollars. I don't know what that is in pounds, like 90 pounds, uh, obviously with shipping and tax and stuff. So this was a really good alternative. I think it was about 14 pounds. And then matching it with the bag is really cute. Cause I think this like ruffled kind of strap is gonna be really in as well. And like, ah, it just looks so cute on a summery day. I also took an Instagram photo in it, which I'll post here. And yeah, I really chuffed with how it turned out. I think it's just like a really cute way to spice up like a white dress or jeans and a t-shirt or whatever, but very cute. I'm really sorry I have not put this on well at all because there's like a weird bend from where it was folded in the package, but hop on over to my Instagram to see the picture. It looks really good there. But it's so cute. And look at the bag. Hmm, this is such a cute little set. Like on the beach imagine pick from behind you're on a little white picnic blanket or yeah anyway cute very very with jean jacquemus vibe these jeans have been sold out for so long and i swear i have been refreshing the asos page for like three months now to try and get these jeans because miss olivia neal wore them and she is genuinely i think the most influential person on this entire planet because anything she wears will sell out immediately because uh, like she's got impeccable style and everything looks amazing in her so everyone goes out and buys it but annoyingly i wanted these jeans they were sold out they are the weekday twin jeans and i love weekday i think they're really good quality denim and i've got like their high-waisted jeans but i have to say i didn't know what size i would be so i literally had to order three different sizes and definitely size down because these are actually quite big and I think I had to get a 24 waist where I'd usually be like a 25 or a 26 but they're just like this they're literally just black straight leg jeans but they have a v front I'll show you in the try on clip but they are supposed to be the most flattering jeans ever so you can make your mind up on if they're really flattering, but I think they're cute and they're a bit different, which I like. And um, I don't actually own any black jeans. So this is quite a nice staple to have in my wardrobe. These are the jeans. Okay. Like, I think they're cute. I think they're flattering. So that's what it like goes down like, like a V, like a V kind of thing. I think they actually look pretty cute. With this top, I'm kind of feeling the vibe, you know? They quite have a waist at the back, which I like, so that when you sit down, you don't get a bit of like a whale tail kind of vibe, but I think these are a keep. These are the 24 waist. So yeah, size down, because I'm never a 24. This is another Instagram brand. It's called The Weekend Studio, and they are very well known for their um, butterfly hoodie which i've actually had in black before but i think the sizing is my fault i i just got it kind of mixed up like I, the size i wanted was sold out so i went for a smaller size and it just didn't really fit me right so i sold that one on depop but they came out with a blue version and i absolutely love this kind of like not really baby blue true blue at the moment you can tell matches the top actually quite nicely but it just looks like this i'll show you better in the try on clip got this massive butterfly on the front i got mine in a large because last time i got a medium and it wasn't like boxy enough it just had kind of a weird fit so defo size up if you can it might be sold out now but this has been very very hyped on instagram i've seen matilda mella wear it but yes i think this is very cute and the best part is that it comes with matching sweatpants well it doesn't come you have to buy 
them separately um but i love a matching set and i really like this blue as i said and these are really cute which have little butterflies on they are lovely they look really cute in the sun as well because they sort of shine and like reflect the light very cute very comfy the bottoms however are huge i don't know who is a small maybe it's a men's small maybe that's what i've got mixed up but look like <laughs> they're very big you can see my underwear they're very big look at that but they're cute and they're really comfy for when we're around the house so i'm probably gonna keep them plus there are no returns policy anyways so yeah but this this is the fit and i think it's kind of cute so I'm gonna show you the shoes before I forget because I definitely will. Um, the first pair of shoes I have worn to death already because they're a bit expensive and they're really cute and they are very me. They are these pink Nike Dunks and if you follow Sophia and Chinzia, you'll see they have matching ones. I adore pink, everyone knows this. So of course I had to get these. Um, I had to buy them on resale, which was kind of sad, but to be honest, they were only just over hundred pounds. So it wasn't that much of a premium to pay, but yeah, they go with everything. They're so cute. And I really do think they're worth the money. They're well-made, they're comfortable. They go with everything. Um, they're probably a little bit harder to get your hands on now because they were released like maybe a month and a bit ago. But if you can find these in your size, mm, they're very cute. I love them. The other pair of shoes I think are gonna be a little bit controversial. I know some people love them, some people hate them. I've been seeing them all over Instagram. You know, I've seen like Megan Welsh, Flossie, Olivia Neal wear them. Um, and I think they're the new big trend, I really do. I would say like half my friends love them, half them hate them. My mum hates them. She thinks they're like the worst thing she's ever seen. I'm just gonna show you. They are these Crocs. And I got the mint green color. They're showing up like very bright on this camera, but they are mint green. And they're the Bay Clogs. We've got cute mode, sports mode. They're really comfortable. Honestly, they are like the comfiest shoes in the world. And I think these with like a little white dress will just look so cute in summer. And I was gonna get the white version that um, Flossie Clegg has, but I thought they looked a bit like nurse shoes that like you wear in a hospital. And I think people do actually wear Crocs in hospitals. So I went for the mint green, a bit fun. I got these little gibbets as well, which I haven't stuck on the front yet. I don't know how you stick them on. Um, a little like eucalyptus branch, very cute. Went for the green and pink theme. A little matcha, because I love myself a matcha. And this little like rose quartz crystal. Thought that was a quite, quite millennial of me to have a crystal and a matcha on there. But yeah, I think they're really cute. And I think they're gonna be a staple for summer. Watch me never wear these outside. Just a few pieces left now. I have seen this brand also on Ruby Lynn or Maddie Crumb. I think it's American. I don't actually know who owns the brand. And I also think the guy that owns this brand might be canceled because I went on their Instagram and he turned all the comments off. And isn't that usually like a bad thing? Isn't that a bad sign? But then when I Googled it, I couldn't find it. So I'm going to show you anyways. But if you know any information on this brand, like if they have done bad things, then please let me know. It's from Reckless Scholars and it is this gargoyle kind of print it's like quite gothic um knit jumper and this is really good quality i bought mine from depop because it's sold out i think or maybe it came from america so it had like taxes and stuff but i got this from a girl on depop i will link her username below because she sells quite a lot of these it's really thick it looks really cute and i'll show you in the trunk clip how it fits um, because this is a small and i like all my stuff oversized but i think this will this looks pretty big Okay, Miss Ruby Lynn, look at this. Okay. I love the fit on this. This is a small, and usually I would go for like a large in knitwear. So maybe it's men's or like unisex sizing, but this is perfect. And um, it's very, very thick. It's very cozy, like I'm a bit hot in this uh, by the window. And it's like two degrees outside. So yeah, God, I'm really out of breath. Putting on all this clothing is very, Good exercise, what's my Fitbit saying? Heart rate of 
heart rate of 114. Wait, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but heart rate of 114, just putting on some clothes. Girls, just have a closet clear out and you'll burn all the calories you need. Anyways, and then lastly, I have a very cute coat to show you, which I literally just got yesterday and it's from Topshop, but I think they're on ASOS now because obviously Topshop shut down, which is really sad. Topshop has like so many memories for me. It used to be the shop next to the department store that I worked in and I used to walk through there every single day and like pick something up. They always had such cute stuff here and it's kind of like shocking to me that they have gone bust. I feel like they really shaped a lot of um, clothing trends, especially in like the 2010 kind of era, like with those like geek t-shirts and, and like the NASA sweaters and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm going on a tangent but I saw this coat on Grace Foley from Grace and Grace and I really like her style, it's so different from mine. It's, it's way more girly, but obviously we both love pink and I saw her wear this and I was like, I need it. And it was sold out for so long, but I actually found it on ASOS in the sale, plus 20% off for like Easter or whatever. And it's gonna be very hard for me to show you, not try it on, so you'll see it better in the try on clip, but it's got gorgeous sleeves, a big collar. It's very Sax Pots, Charlotte Simone-esque, which I've been looking for for a really long time. And it is really good quality. I'm in love. I am in love. Can you marry a coat? Because, oh. I mean, there was no way in hell that I wasn't gonna love this coat, but just putting it on, like, bury me in this coat. Oh my God, look how cute this is. This is really, well made. This is really Sax Pots vibes. I'm very happy I took the plunge and bought this because as you all know, I go on about it a million times, but pink is my favorite color. And I love these like fur trim coats. I think they're gonna be in next season as well because they're very 70s. This is the perfect like weight for spring as well. I'm obsessed. I might go wear this to town now. I could wear this to Tesco. That's very extra, but like, look. I feel like a princess and I'm very here for it. So that is everything I've got to show you in the haul today. Thank you so much for sticking around and getting to the end of the video. I know there was a lot of clothes, but hopefully you've maybe seen some pieces in this haul that you've seen on Instagram and now you know if they're worth money or not. Um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for the support as well. Like it's been crazy to see all these lovely comments left on my videos and some new subscribers. Like it really makes me so, so, so happy. And I promise I will upload some more videos. I've got some really fun ideas coming up, especially now that things are like opening up a bit more next week. And I'll be going back to uni, finally. I know I've been saying this for yonks, but obviously all my clothes are there. So I'll be able to do like more styling videos and vlogs and stuff like that. More fun things, you can meet my friends, go out shopping and stuff like that. So yes. If that sounds like something you would like to watch, then please do subscribe if you're not already. And also check out my Instagram, I'll have it linked below. And if you are so inclined, please check out my ring business on Depop. They're like these little cute resin, um, colorful heart rings. There are a lot, I've got them all here, but different designs, they're really cute. So if you do like those, um, the Depop is at Helena Reads, but I'll have a link below. And then the Instagram for that page is at Heli Designs on Instagram. But yes, I will link that all below. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I've jabbered on for like half an hour now. So that's gonna be fun to edit. But anyways, have a lovely week, stay safe, and I hope you had a nice Easter. Bye.